Hello Year 2 and welcome to our final session of looking at Islam. You will look at Islam again when you are in Key Stage 2, so you will go over some of these things again in more detail. This is just to give you a little idea of some of the things. Okay, right, here we go. So, I want to see how much you remembered about our topic on Islam. So, what is the holy book called? Can you remember? Well done if you said that the holy book is called the Quran. The next question, how many times a day do Muslims pray? If you said five, well done, you are correct. The next question, what do Muslims call their God? Can you remember this one? Well done if you said Allah. Oh, this is a tricky one. What is the name of the special leader who became a prophet? If you remember, we looked at him in the story of the prophet and the ants. His name was Muhammad. And what is the name of the religious building where Muslims go to pray? Well done, it was a mosque. And I know lots of you created the most amazing mosques made out of junk modelling. So well done. And we're going to display those when we come back to school. So if you've made one, keep it safe. Hey, don't put it in the recycling. Keep it nice and safe. And we're going to display some of them when we come back to school. Okay, the next question. Why do men and women play, play, pray in separate prayer rooms? Do you remember when you made your mosque, you had to have a separate prayer room for the men and the women? Why do they pray in separate prayer rooms? Well done. It's so that the men and women don't get distracted. That's why they pray separately. What is Ramadan? Now we've looked at this this week, so hopefully you'll remember this. Okay, remember we looked at lots of videos on it, and a little boy was telling us all about it. Well done if you said that Ramadan is the month of fasting. Next question, what is Eid al-Fitr? Again, we looked at this this week. Can you remember? I'll give you a bit of a clue. We watched a CBeebies video on it. Well done if you said it's the celebration at the end of Ramadan. Hey, do you remember in the CBeebies video where they had nice clothes, they cooked lots of beautiful food, um, they had their hands painted with henna, um, lots of nice things getting ready for like a big party to celebrate the end of Ramadan. Okay, so now... You've got a sheet to complete about what is important to Muslims, okay? And the first thing you've got to think about is which of these activities would matter most to Muslims? Okay, so we've got praying to Allah, watching TV, reading the Quran, receiving presents, hearing the call to prayer, singing their favourite song, hearing stories from the Prophet, fasting during Ramadan, and spending time with their family. Okay, remember there'll be more than one right answer. There'll be quite a few of those. So I would like you to pause the video and write down all the activities that you think would matter most to Muslims. Okay, now you've done that, we're going to be thinking about which activities from the list below are important to you. So not to a Muslim, to you. If you are a Muslim, okay, then you might decide, look at the top list, which of those are really important to you and think about why they're really important to you. Are there any in the second list that are really important to you as well? Okay, so activities from this list are important to you. Spending time with family and friends. Spending time with your pets. Watching TV. Playing on the computer. Listening to music. Playing outside. 
going to the park, playing with your toys and reading a book. I would like you to pause the video now and write down which of those are really important to you. Okay, once you've done that, I would like you to have a look at the two lists that you have done. Okay, You might in your second list, things that are important to you, add in some others that you feel are not on that list but are really important to you. Then look at the two lists. Are there any things that are the same? Are there any things that you've said are important to Muslims and activities that you said are important to you? I know that Muslims, for Muslims, it is very important to them to spend time with family. I'm not a Muslim, but in my list for activities that would be important to me would also be spending time with family and friends. I would like you to see if you can think of any others that you would add to the list for activities that would matter most to Muslims and then anything else you could add to the list of activities that will be important to you. See if you can find any more similarities between the two. Okay? And this shows that actually there are several activities that are important to everybody. It does not matter what religion they are or if they don't have a religion. Okay? There are certain activities that are really, really important to everybody. It doesn't matter what religion. Because spending time with family and friends, being kind to animals is definitely important to Muslims. Remember the story of the prophet and the ants? Okay, when they saved the ants from the fire. So Muslims believe it's really important to be kind to animals. I also feel it's really important to be kind to animals. So you'll be able to see lots and lots of similarities. The next activity, when you've done that, that I would like you to do, is to think back over our RE lessons this term. You could look back at perhaps you've got the worksheets of things that you've been doing um, and then and activities. You could look on the website and look back at some of the videos that we've done to remind you of some of the things that we've covered. I would like you to think of three things. The first thing is I would like you to write a couple of sentences about the things that you've really enjoyed in this RE topic. Okay? Don't just say I liked doing the making the mosque. You need to say why. Okay? Then I would like you to think of something that perhaps there was something that you didn't enjoy so much. Okay? And that's fine because not everybody will enjoy every part of it. However, you might have thought, do you know what? I've enjoyed all of this RE. There is nothing I didn't like because it was all about learning new things. Then you can write that. Okay? Then I would like you to have a little look, perhaps on a laptop or a tablet, and have a think of, is there something else that you would like to find out about Islam? Have you got any more questions that you would like to find out the answers to? Perhaps it might be that you really enjoyed the little bit of work we did on Eid al-Fitr, but because we only had a few sessions, perhaps you didn't feel we learned enough about it and you would like to find out a bit more about it. Okay? You might want to think about how they build the mosque. Okay? Or you might want to know about some of the um, different foods that they cook. What's special about them? How could we make them? Perhaps you might want to look at some recipes, okay? Have a think, what would you like to do in order to further your learning about Islam? If you've got time, what you could then do is have a look, see if you can research it, okay? Remember to ask a grown-up first, but research it. So if you want to find out about um, the special foods that they cook, have a look at some of the recipes. You might even give some of them a go. Okay, see if there's something you've quite liked to taste. All right, or you might think, do you know what? I've done a junk modeling mosque. 
is there anything else I could make? Or maybe I'd like to collage a mosque, okay? And find out about more about the five pillars of Islam. Or what happens when a baby's born and they whisper the words of God into the baby's ear, okay? I would love to know if there's anything else you would like us to include next time because we're going to be thinking more about Islam in term four and comparing it with Christianity and looking at the similarities and differences. Okay, so hope you enjoy that. Bye for now.